How are you guys doing? So in this video, I will be going over the Audi driver assistance package available on select 2017 and 18 models. Uh, this 2018 A5 Sportback is actually available for sale currently at Mohegan Lake Audi in Mohegan Lake, New York. Check the website, the car is on there right now. So basically, the driver assistance package is available on the A5, A4, Q5, Q7, A6, A7. Uh, might be missing one or two, but that's pretty much the, oh, and the A8, of course. And what the system consists of is going to be two radar sensors in the lower portion of the front grille. So you can see here, we've got one on the left side of the car and another one on the right. Now, Audi's system is unique as it uses two instead of just one in the center, uh, giving you a much better reading of the road. And then, of course, there's always going to be the camera up above that is used for the lane keeping assist, and as you can see it right there. So we can jump in the car in a second, show you kind of the interior features, but pretty much those are the primary focal points of the system as far as the sensors themselves. So as far as the interior goes, there are some physical key buttons for the system. Now the lane keeping is actually located at the end of the turn signal stock. As you can see, the little kind of road looking icon here. Now I'm going to go ahead and click that off for a second. Basically the system's off when you turn it on at the bottom of the right corner of the display. You'll see the lanes pop up gray, which means the system's active, but not actually on at the moment. Those will actually turn green when they are currently reading lanes. Now right now I have the um, center portion of the screen on the driver assistant portion. You can actually see that the lines show up there as well when you turn the system on and off. Um, when you're using the screen elsewhere, you always see that down at the bottom. Now on the heads up display, you will actually see the same thing. As you can see, it's kind of small, hard to see. But if I turn it off, disappears, turn it on, it reappears right above the speed. Now those do turn green up there as well, letting you know that the system's active. Now as far as the cruise control goes, everything is pretty much done on this stock here, which is on the lower portion of the steering wheel column. So you can see it looks like a traditional cruise control stock um, with some added benefits. So basically the system's off when you put it in the back position, it all turns dark and you basically want to move it forward, turns the system on. Now, while you do that, the ring around the speedometer is going to light up red, letting you know the um, basically the area that the adaptive cruise control will work in. Now, what you want to do is you, like a traditional cruise control system, you can click it up or down, and then that will adjust the speed that you desire. And you can see in the bottom portion, you can see the speed as well as the little arrow that goes around the ring. Now, if I were in drive and moving along, basically from this point on, I would want to confirm by pulling it towards me. And it's going to say it needs to be in drive, sport, or manual. And that's when the uh, active cruise control will actually go ahead and start listening to your requests. Now, where the um, stock differs from the normal settings or the normal cruise control is going to be your distance control right here. So if you hit the plus and minus, you can see that you'll actually get bars that will basically control how far your car is following the car in front. So right now this is the closest distance and you can obviously increase the distance. I believe it's five positions and you can see that here. Now, if you weren't on this screen, if you're on the map, that pops up down there now. And you can see that as I increase the distance, the car in front moves farther away. And then as well as the heads up display, you get the same diagram up there as well. You can see it changes as you push it up and down. Okay. Now, as far as internal menus, those are gonna be located right here. You press the menu button, you go up to vehicle, then you want to go where it says 
driver assistance. Basically, this is what you're gonna see when you first go in the vehicle. You wanna click the left tab. That gets you into the sub menu. Then you go down vehicle settings and then one more driver assistance. So in here, you're gonna to wanna to control things in the heads up display. To display adaptive cruise control settings here, you have to go to display contents and you have to basically make sure that that's checked. Now go back out of here, adaptive cruise control setting. This is where you can turn on and off adaptive, um, basically changing as your route changes ahead if the speed limit decreases and increases. Uh, you can also set a speed limiter here. Now distance warning will warn you how far you know you're traveling behind the car in front and then due to the setting you're on, um, dependent on that, it will uh, start flashing red at you on the gauge cluster. Um, next down is the energy efficient, which basically it will warn you um, when a traffic light or intersection is coming up and it will basically put a little suggestion on the gauge cluster kind of right here in the bottom corner, a little green foot letting you know that you should be coming off the gas, there's going to be an intersection coming up. And then presense is your collision warning system. You can change that from off to low, medium, or high. And then um, next down is gonna be your active lane assist. And here you can um, basically set it to be early or late, and you can add the vibrations into the steering wheel. I will take the car out on the highway, show you guys the system um, as they work in real time.